Hey everybody, Mike Rowe here. And let me tell you, I've gotten down and dirty with a lot of jobs in my time. But there's something truly satisfying about working with the land, getting your hands in the soil and nurturing life from seed to harvest. And that's why I'm excited to be partnering with Farm Pay's store to bring you this guide to mastering drip tape selection. Whether you're a seasoned farmer or just starting out, choosing the right drip tape can make all the difference in the health of your crops, your water efficiency and ultimately your bottom line. So let's get right into it and I'll break down everything you need to know to make the best choices for your farm. Now, you might be thinking drip tape is drip tape, right? Wrong. Just like you wouldn't use a garden hose to fight a forest fire, you need the right drip tape for the job. And one of the biggest factors is thickness. Think of it like this. A thin walled tape is like your everyday coffee cup, great for a quick sip, but not built for the long haul. That's fine for short season crops like lettuce or radishes, but for your heavy hitters, your tomatoes, peppers or anything that's going to be in the ground for a while, you'll want a thicker, more durable tape. We're talking 8 mil, 10 mil, even 15 mil for those really demanding crops. This ensures your tape can handle the wear and tear of a long growing season, resist punctures from roots and rocks and deliver water consistently where it's needed most. When it comes to vegetable farming, choosing the right drip tape thickness is all about finding that balance between durability and cost effectiveness. For your quick growing leafy greens and root vegetables, a 5mm or 6mm tape will do the trick. You're not looking for longevity here, just enough to get those plants to maturity. Now, for your mid-season crops like cucumbers, beans or squash, stepping up to an 8mm or 10mm tape is a smart move. These crops need a bit more time to develop and a thicker tape provides that extra insurance against damage. And for your long haul champions, your tomatoes, peppers, eggplants, those guys, you'll want to go all out with a 12mm or even a 15mm tape. These thicker tapes can handle the rigours of a full growing season, ensuring consistent watering and maximum yields. Now let's talk spacing. Just like you wouldn't cram all your friends into a phone booth, at least I hope not, you don't want to crowd your plants with poorly spaced emitters. The key here is to match the emitter spacing to the water needs and root systems of your crops. For thirsty, wide-rooted crops like corn or melons, a wider spacing of 12 to 18 inches between emitters will ensure deep, even watering. For more compact crops like lettuce or spinach, a closer spacing of 6 to 8 inches is ideal. Remember, the goal is to create a consistent moisture zone along the root line, encouraging healthy growth and maximizing your yield potential. Dealing with sandy soil can feel like trying to fill a bucket with a hole in the bottom. Water just seems to disappear, but fear not my friends, the right drip tape can help you tame even the thirstiest terrain. The key here is to choose a tape with a flow rate that matches your soil type. For sandy soils, you'll want a lower flow rate, something in the range of half to one gallon per hour per emitter. This slower, more controlled application allows the water to penetrate the soil and reach those thirsty roots before it has a chance to drain away. Remember, slow and steady wins the race, especially when it comes to irrigating sandy soil. Now, if you're working with a high-pressure irrigation system, you need a drip tape that can handle the heat literally. Standard drip tape can burst under high pressure, leaving you with a soggy mess and a headache. That's where reinforced drip tape comes in. These tapes are built tough with layers of woven material that can withstand pressures up to 100 PSI or more. Look for tapes with specific PSI ratings and pressure compensating emitters, which ensure a consistent flow rate even under varying pressure. Trust me, investing in the right drip tape for your high pressure system is a lot less painful than dealing with a blown out irrigation line. Farming on a slope can feel like a constant uphill battle, especially when it comes to irrigation, but don't let gravity get you down. With the right drip tape, you can ensure even watering across your entire field, no matter the terrain. Pressure compensating emitters are your best friend here, delivering a consistent flow rate regardless of elevation changes. Pair these with a thicker wall drip tape, like a 10 mil or 12 mil, to resist punctures from rocks and roots and you'll have a system that can handle even the most challenging slopes. Remember, even watering means even growth, and that translates to a more bountiful harvest. 
For all you organic farmers out there, choosing the right drip tape isn't just about efficiency. It's about sustainability too. You need a tape that's not only effective, but also environmentally responsible. Look for drip tapes made from biodegradable materials like plant-based polymers that break down naturally over time, leaving no harmful residues behind. Also, choose tapes with low flow emitters, which minimize water waste and reduce the risk of nutrient leaching. Remember, organic farming is all about working in harmony with nature, and choosing the right drip tape is a key part of that equation. Greenhouses are all about creating the ideal growing environment, and that means getting your irrigation just right. Because greenhouses are typically more controlled environments, you can often get away with narrow emitter spacing, say six to eight inches, to ensure even moisture distribution. Lower flow rates, around half a gallon per hour per emitter, are also a good choice, as they minimize evaporation and prevent overwatering. And don't forget about UV resistance. Greenhouses mean lots of sunlight, and you'll want a drip tape that can stand up to those intense rays without becoming brittle and cracking. In a world where water is becoming increasingly precious, efficient irrigation is more important than ever. And that's where drip tape really shines. By delivering water directly to the root zone, drip irrigation minimizes evaporation and runoff, making the most of every drop. To maximize your water savings, choose drip tapes with low flow emitters, narrow emitter spacing, and consider investing in an automated irrigation system. These systems use sensors to monitor soil moisture levels and deliver water only when and where it's needed, taking the guesswork out of irrigation and saving you water and money in the long run. So there you have it, folks. Choosing the right drip tape doesn't have to be a dirty job. By understanding the factors involved, thickness, spacing, flow rate and material, you can make informed decisions that will benefit your crops, your wallet and the planet. Remember, just like any job, the right tools make all the difference and with the right drip tape in hand, you'll be well on your way to a more productive, efficient and sustainable farm. Happy farming, everybody!